Greetings, fellow adventurers. I would like to invite you to a little bit different series on this channel. For those of you who are interested in other content, I am going to stream once a week again, but it is not going to be a computer game. It is indeed going to be a tabletop, uh, which has many similarities to strategy games, but some differences. So, these two part series of an introduction is meant to introduce you first and foremost to the world that I've created. I'm going to go through everything that has happened in a short fashion, and the second uh, video should give you an introduction to the characters, to the players that interact within this world. So, without further ado, let me talk a little bit about Frostfall. We are using um, an online tool called Roll20. It's a virtual tabletop to kind of connect with one another. We are playing in the same world, the world um, that I referred as uh, Frostfall, and I wanted to give you an overview of what Frostfall um, includes. So welcome to Frostfall. This first video focuses only on the world itself. Frostfall itself is uh, placed in the Forgotten Realms, and for those of you who don't know the Forgotten Realms, it's a place of wonders uh, to reel um, the, uh, the world, and the Forgotten Realms themselves is indeed a very large, but yet very interesting place to live in. This here is my online uh, implementation of uh, the Forgotten Realms. It's kind of the, uh, the standard worlds, and I don't want to go too far into what the Forgotten Realms are. But you can see that all of these places exist within the world and are indeed implemented. I've taken quite some time to uh, implement the campaign on such a detailed uh, level. So if you scroll into the world, you will find that there is one place which is called Nym. And uh, this whole story will focus on Nym because the adventurer party is there, because uh, the adventures currently happen there. But it doesn't mean that the adventurers only need to be there. You will see, however, that that is a very special place. And let me read you um, the teaser for the campaign. So, I'm playing an adventure pass that I created um, myself, which is focusing um, on a survival of, uh, on a small island. The remote Fog Islands, which are commonly used to send high-profile criminals from Waterdeep into permanent exile. No one has yet returned from these islands, however, it soon becomes clear that the heroes, despite their amnesia that they do have, do not seem to be criminal at all. The opposite is true. When they uncover um, that uh, their survival is much, much bigger than just a fight to stay alive, they indeed are forced to stop an ancient evil which spins an intrigue that could be world-changing and even change the very existence of the Forgotten Realms as we currently know them. The in-game uh, perspective, and that's where the whole story starts, and uh, before I talk a little bit about the, the world itself, the perspective slowly clears. You find yourself within the mystical world of the Forgotten Realms. Nearly 100 years ago, a memorable fight between two archmages turned a small island a couple of hundred miles away from the Sword Coast into a strange, alien terrain. Within this epic conflict, the island of Nym, the Isle of Fog, as it uh, is known amongst the common uh, town folk, has changed forever. The final conflict between the archmages seemingly drew upon the power of the land itself, and mighty spells have changed the once beautiful nature of this island into a remote wasteland, consisting of nothing but ashen ground, hardened wood, and unnatural wilderness. It is here, within the tundra, that the exiles from Waterdeep are being cast out. A more merciful exile compared to the awaiting death sentences. The Fog Isle, however, is a tricky one, since no one ever returned. An impenetrable a wall of fog surrounds the island, shutting it off from all directions. 
attempt to sail towards the island so far resulted in vanishing ships or even worse. As you awake on a massive cold stone floor, your head hurts. The red shimmering lines of power run through the floor and uh, seem to be feeding energy into three massive pylons. If you wouldn't know any better, you guess that you are standing on a magical rune or symbol which is carved into the ground. The surrounding landscape appears to be unreal. Ashen dust, fine but yet distinctive, covers the area around the stone circle. Your vision is hampered by an almost white fog that surrounds uh, this whole place. You merely can spot a single br uh, brush uh, with leaves that just consists of thorns and vines. It is now that you almost start to realize that you can barely move at all. Your limbs begin to slowly freeze as the arctic temperature tears upon your body and the wrecks provided to you are definitely not enough to shelter or withstand the cold for long. You noticed that you are not alone in the stone circle. You are surrounded by further beings who seem to awake out of a similar slumber. Dizzy and unsure about the situation, all of you notice a sudden halfling, almost dwarven in his statue, who is wrapped in a warm cape made of thick fur. Despite your best attempt, you cannot remember, not about the last days and not about the past years. Where there was memory, it seems as if there are only em uh, is, uh, it seems as if there would be only empty coldness. With a smooth gesture, the halfling throws a mantle into the direction and says in a deep, slow voice, Welcome to Nim. Follow me if you don't want to freeze to death. With these words, he vanishes in the thick fog. And this is where the campaign started. That was my teaser. And uh, this is how I originally um, advertised it online. We're going to go through who, um, how the advertisement uh, went and and who uh, signed up in a little bit more time. So, core message, this uh, island, the island of Nym, seems to be an area where um, high-profile criminals are being sent. The characters play seemingly high-profile uh, criminals that are uh, good in their motivation, though. So, there seems to be a misunderstanding. Someone has set them up, <clears throat> and even worse, they cannot remember what has happened before they were arriving at the island of Nym. Let me show you how Nym itself is being designed and what you would need to know. I will go through a little bit of the history and uh, the places um, that, you need, uh, that you need to know. So let's uh, start with the history of Nym. The Fog Island um, has been a really nice place. About 100 years ago, before the great um, conflict of the Ark Mages has happened, the Fog Place, matter of fact, was one of the Fog Islands. was rich of trade, and many, many merchants were coming here. It had decently sized cities, but all of that is long forgotten, and that has to do with a story of a man called Prince Moritz. Prince Moritz, who currently is looking like this, was once a young ruler who took over the empire in the east. His father, a wise man, has um, had some hesitations to give it over to him. And uh, Prince Moritz, in his youth and his drive for power, wanted to do more than just being a ruler. He wanted to rule over all of Nim. So the classical setup for a tyrant. He then decided to bend with a, with a temple of evil clerics, clerics that worship the god Hextor, um, a god that demands absolute um, loyalty and uh, reigns with an iron hand. That is what uh, Moritz wanted to be, that is what Moritz wanted to achieve. Over here in the very east side, of uh, the island. There is the Castle Nevermore, the once proud Castle Nevermore. Nowadays it looks a little bit different. 
Now, back to the story. Prince Moritz um, knew that he couldn't just run over the whole island. His army wasn't strong enough. So he invited one of the mighty being, uh, beings of Frostfall, a female dragon called Güvenvar, into the, into the castle itself. Güvenvar, curious in nature and having a well-established relationship with uh, the father of Prince Moritz, followed the call and was surprised to be ambushed. She was taken as a hostage and she was used as a focus, a catalyst, for dark magic. Over years and years, they have um, tied her to the ground and tainted her very existence. They used her draconic blood to fuel rituals, to power up and uh, build an army of an unnatural size. With that army, Prince Moritz decided to declare war onto every city, and every being on Nym. It was then where times of trouble started. He ran over a couple of the orc tribes in the southern uh, in the southern land, and he was moving with his army even through the very western parts. He destroyed former cities, and he almost manages to to reach the very western shore. His most intense um, enemies, however, were the giants of the northern mountains, a clan of frost giants that did not stand idle and wanted to fight him. These frost giants, being led by a merciless, um, a merciless ruler himself, Harthog the Butcher, were giving um, little Prince Moritz a harsh time. In this conflict, at the end, um, no one prevailed because, unfortunately, Nym became the very place of a duel of two arch archmages. So whilst the final um, verdict between the giants and the army of Prince Moritz was happening, there was also a duel of two very powerful beings, which changed the whole landscape. Many of the living beings were slain during that duel. Those who could, ex uh, ex uh, who could escape were turned or mutilated. So uh, what happened um, there remains unclear to this day, but a couple of consequences arise. Number one. Prince Moritz vanished, and in his current form, he was punished for all his uh, evil beings. He did not just vanish, he, mut uh, he mutated and became an abomination of uh, what he once was. He now lives and still resides in the castle of Nevermore, reigning over beings of pure horror, that still reside there. His ambition is not broken, but he does no longer have the means to pose a threat to everyone. Secondly, the dragons, um, specifically Güvenvar, were eventually freed in the conflict and returned to, the, uh, to her lair. But the damage to her, to, her, uh, to her very existence, to her soul, was permanent. The um, Giants were almost extinguished, but the remaining folks of them were changed uh, due to the conflict. Nearly everyone else on the island died, and the island itself was shut off. More so, the island itself um, seemed to have been drawn closer to a different dimension, a dimension which is called Ravenloft. That's a parallel dimension where the undead are reigning and where every living being is either being hunted or um, made in uh, forced into slavery for the undead. Needless to say that if this place here is uh, magically tied to another plane of existence, the undeads would uh, eventually start to to take over to take over Nim or at least try to do so. And that is exactly what has happened or what is currently happening here. 
when the heroes arrived, and that is what we're going to look through in the next episode, when the heroes arrived, they found themselves in an adventure where they do have um, a rather um, unpleasant experience with undeads and an undead army that is currently gathering. So, let me close the first video here, that is merely a teaser, and I'm happy um, to go more into the uh, rich background story. Um, maybe I am indeed doing a third video where I'm describing the history of uh, Frostfall, which is the currently only settlement um, on this uh, place, to give you more of an idea what has happened.